Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial series of SOAP Web Service in Java. I think a lot of people already know that the SOAP is one type or style of web service. Now before going to SOAP directly, let's talk about the web service quickly. Now web service is an interface to an application functionality which can be accessed from the network like net internet. In other words, if an application can be accessed over a network, then it is a web service. In Java, it is the class and its methods which are exposed over the network to act as a web service and clients can invoke those methods after the class has been exposed as a web service. The web service has its own specification which is standardized. Any vendor can implement it and provide the support for creating or calling the web service. So in a way, we can tell that the process of creating web service or accessing the web service is standardized and hence it gives us a benefit of interoperability in a distributed environment. So in a distributed environment we may have systems like client is running on Unix box and it's written in C++ language while the web service is running in Java and it's been employed in web Windows system. Now, as long as both the client and the server knows the specification about the web service and knows how to create and access a web service, they can eventually talk to each other no matter what platform they are in and what language they are written. Now, one more thing to note is that the web services are messaging framework. The only requirement placed on the web service is that it must be capable of sending and receiving some kind of messages. The most common form of web service is to call methods or procedures in which case the messages would be the parameters passed to the method and the result or response which is returned from the method. In the web services architecture, the service provider publishes a description of the service it offers via the service registry. The service consumer searches the service registry to find a service that meets their needs. So that was the basic of web service. Now since SOAP is a type of web service, it is designed for the exchange of information in a distributed computing environment. SOAP follows the JAXWS uh, specification. There are so many vendors available which provide the reference implementation of the JAXWS uh, specification. So we can use their libraries or JAR files to eventually or actually create and access SOAP based web service. There are a couple of vendors I know and they are Apache CXF or Apache Access 2. The JAXWS is part of the Enterprise Java so the SOAP based web services can be published with a standard Java web server like Tomcat or JT. SOAP is actually XML based and it relies heavily on the XML format. SOAP exchanges its information using XML and it follows a standard structured XML format for its request and response messages. There are two versions of SOAP 1.1 and 1.2. Any of the implementations can provide support for both the versions of the SOAP. But by default it is SOAP 1.1. But we can specify to use the SOAP 1.2 as well. Now there are a few differences between these two versions of the SOAP. Like for example, the media type for SOAP 1.1 message is text slash XML whereas this type changes in SOAP 1.2 to application slash SOAP plus XML and SOAP 1.2 is also open to using other transport protocols other than the HTTP for delivering their SOAP messages however in practice HTTP remains the dominant transport for both the SOAP 1.1 and 1.2 so this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. We will see some more stuff of the SOAP web service in subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.